up you guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're cracking back into the list of the top 100 NFL players of 2021. Today we're focusing on number 77, Quandre Diggs. He's a cornerback. He plays for the Seahawks. I thought it was about time I got this off the wall and put it on my back. And, um, well I dare say, he's one of Russell Wilson's favourites. On the opposite side of the ball, of course. But, uh, you know, the, the most exciting thing about playing corner or playing safety is not tipping passes. It's not even taking an interception. It's what you do after that. When you grab that ball, you look upfield, and you try and break tackles. You might even take it for a pick six. So when I think of corners, I think, right, you're not gonna get too many opportunities. If your wide receiver that you're marking throughout that game is not targeted, it's gonna look like you did, well, sweet fuck all. But we know, we know. Pick sixes, do they happen often? No. Are they spectacular? Yes. Do I like cornerbacks? Sometimes. Will Quandre Diggs sway me as a fan? I'm not sure. All that and more will be revealed, guys. Stay tuned. But first, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Major Key Physiques. What's up, guys? Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on this video. Secondly, it's brought to you by none other than Major Key Physiques. And I'm wearing some right now. Major Key Physiques is a New Zealand-based bodybuilding and fitness brand. They have a complete range covering men's, women's, and accessories. Everything is sized from small to triple XL. International shipping is always available. The products have all been designed with both aesthetics and quality at the forefront. With over a thousand happy customers and shipping worldwide, there's no reason why you shouldn't check them out. Head down into the description box below, check out the link www.majorkeyphysics.com. Use code JACOB20 for 20% off and come and join the team. Thanks for listening and enjoy the video. Peace out. All right, and would you believe it? Uh, the man, the myth, the, the living legend, Buda Baker, is on screen. Let's hear what uh, Cardinals safety Buda Baker has to say about his fellow defensive back, Quandre Diggs. I like Quandre Diggs. Seahawks need to stop here. Here comes the blitz. Quick throw inside. Ball's tipped up. Going the other way is Diggs. Oh, yeah. Quandre. See? Beats one. Line. Beats Breaks two. Tackle, jumps over him you, Go, Quandre. Uses Jamal Adams' block. Beats three. Score. Still on the move. Finally tracked down. Woo, that's my dog right See? There. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's not a, it might not be a pick six, but it is... A spectacular play it, it does it gets you up you know we've got wide receivers like Tyler Lockett on the sideline thinking hey that's what I'm meant to be doing have we seen him on the list I do recognize the name or well, certainly the last name no we haven't I love his game man we've seen this guy throws to the end zone it's intercepted and taking a knee in the end zone is Diggs see how he fly um was there any need to do a jumping lunge in the end zone for a safety? Was there any need? Mr. Diggs. Yeah, there was. It's American football. A play like that doesn't happen very often. You've got to make the most of your five minutes of fame in a particular game. So in that case, I'll let it slide. Fly around, get active in Seattle. That was a good fit for him. Now don't tell me Stefan and Quandre are related. It's Diggs. He's across the 20. Still on the move. 25 30. Breaks a tackle. See? The 35. Breaks three once again. That's a big time play, baby. That's a big time play. Nice work. I look at like what, what Diggs did just, you know, in that year with Seattle with, you know, him and, and Jamal Adams. Very <laughs> similar, like with, you know, with Earl Thomas when he was with Seattle and Cam. You know, those guys were great. Earl was the free roamer. Earl Thomas picks it off. And then you had Cam down low, you know, enforcing the run game. And Lewis gets hit. I tell you what, that is not bad company to be compared with. Blasted. Oh. Is that Quandre? If you throw deep, it's either going to get picked or it's a big hit. DK's happy. Quandre Diggs had a career high five interceptions. In Whoa! Don't they call that a rainbow? Literally goes up, goes up, stalls in the air for a couple of seconds, comes straight back down. But it is that kind of pass, that kind of overarching pass, that's going to, if landed in the right area in that end zone, it's going to give the team, it's going to give the team the the, the best possibility to get up there and, and and snag that that touchdown. But what that also does is it gives the defense an equal opportunity to go up and get that ball. And it looks as if Diggs has done just that. 
Tying him with Justin Simmons for most among NFL free safeties. His athleticism is able to get him opportunities to get interceptions. And in that same breath, like if he can't make the play to get the ball, best believe that he's going to separate the receiver from the football. You know, without getting a penalty or, you know, with all the things that used to be legal now are illegal in our game. He gets up in the box quick, so he's not afraid to hit. One no safety there. Mm. I, don't. I, don't, I like it. I do like his, uh, his tackling technique, although this one back here he gets up in a box quick. makes so me cringe just hit. slightly. Not this one. Well, that one too. But this one as well. He's, uh, he must favor his right shoulder, which is fine. We all have a favored side. But in a tackle like that, in the game of rugby, I mean, in the game of rugby, right, no protection, no helmet. There's no way that you'd want your head to be caught underneath the attacking player as you hit the ground. When you've got a helmet on, I guess it improves things somewhat. But as you can see in this particular play as well, not only has he got his head on the wrong side of the ball, but there's another Seahawks defender coming in on the bottom side of the attacker as well. So it's just uh, it's just not the best. It's just not the uh, the best result you could say. One no safety that not only hit you hard, but I'm playing the post as well. I think it just speaks praises to his game and how he's finding ways to be really effective in that Seattle defense. So, love his game. Well, I know you love his game, mate. You love everyone's game. You're on every single goddamn interview. Anyways, in the next video, we're looking at a fellow Seahawk on the opposite side of the ball, Tyler Lockett. And we're going to hear from none other than DK Metcalf, who I'm led to believe is in the top 20 this year, or at least the top 30. And that's exciting. Before we go, I do want to confirm whether these two Diggs boys are related. Quandre Diggs, age 28, 5 foot 9, 90 kgs. Pick number 6, sorry, pick number 200 in the 6th round of the 2015 draft to the Lions. Stayed there for 4 years, and he's currently at the Seahawks. He made his first Pro Bowl last year. Runs a 4.56 40-yard dash, and we saw all that and more. A 20-yard shuttle of 4.15, three-cone drill of 7.22. A vertical jump of 35 and a half inches, 9 foot 5 on the broad jump, 17 reps on the bench. And if we scroll down here to his personal life, Diggs is the younger half-brother of former Longhorns and NFL defensive back Quentin Jammer. No mention of Stefan Diggs. The name is his own. And with that in mind... I'm looking forward to the next video, where we hear from, like I said, none other than DK. Started with Buda Baker, funnily enough, um, and now in the next video, we're, we're going to continue with the, uh, the arch nemesis of Buda Baker, you could say. The man who chased him down from 10, 15 yards back, DK Metcalf. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. We'll be back very shortly to continue the list at number 76 with Tyler Lockett. Thanks for watching, and peace out.